context for this crash right here. You see the B Goat Extreme just absolutely cut off on me. You can go back and look at the slow mo footage and you can see that it was a cutoff because if it wasn't a cutoff, it should have not cut out until that final sequence of beeps was over with. And it cut out within, like, if you look at this, it goes beep, beep, before I could even react to hearing that first beep, it was cut off on me. So, and I was riding at about 35 miles per hour right here, guys, and the thing is, this is only 15 minutes into my ride. I just turned this thing on, put my foot on it 15 minutes before this happened, guys, and I'm only about seven and a half miles into a full charge on this wheel. And one thing I noticed is that this thing was absolutely eating the battery. I looked down slightly before this corner I'm and right, the there. battery was teetering yeah, between yeah, three bars and two bars. It would go to three whenever I'd back off power and it'd go to two whenever I'd get on the power. And then as soon as I started up this little corner right here is whenever it just shut off on me. So something's wrong with this wheel with the power consumption on it. It should not be eating battery that fast. This thing is garbage. Actual garbage. I will say this though. The build quality and the battery casings on this thing is exceptional. You see that I was able to turn it on and ride it away from that crash. There's not a lot of wheels you'd be able to turn it on and ride away from that crash. So I want to give them that at least. I mean, I really do. I want to, I mean, y'all are going in the right direction when it comes to the actual build quality. Now you just got to get the internals right.